Ma, 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 what it do, broski? It's your main man, Davy. Matt Fly, two eyes, back on the block with another broski. Hey, the day we finna get to it, G. Straight to the meat and potatoes, man. Me personally, I wanna know what's the best cleaner in between Jason Smart Premium Shoe Cleaner and the Crip Protect Cure. You know what I'm saying? I wanna see what's the best, bro. It could only be one. One gotta be better than the other one. We finna find out. Break it down with smell, leather, and effectiveness. <laughs> we'll bust it down that way and see which one gonna work the best. You know what I'm saying? The shoes we're gonna be cleaning up today is my old dirty Nizers, bro. These joints are super dirty. I've been skating in them. They got like a gang of wear. You can see wear all over the shoe. It might be blasted out, maybe not. But yeah, bro. You can see right there, I'm trying to pop all these shovets all over the shoe. They're just good and dirty at this point and definitely need a good cleaning. We're going to clean one shoe with the Crip and we're going to clean the other shoe with the Jason Mark. And we're going to try it on Cheeky Beasy, little black cement threes too. Y'all already know how bad kids are on shoes. I could have just grabbed two of her shoes and did it that way. You know what I mean? Let you see the dirt, the little wear and beat up on these. You know what I mean? Not too bad, just a little dusty. Of course, the white midsole need a little touch. Need a little TLC. The outsole don't look that bad on camera, but yeah. These joints definitely could stand a good cleaning. We're gonna get to it, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just stay tuned. We're gonna see which product works the best. I know cats who sponsored by Crip gonna say Crip. Cats who's sponsored by Jason Mark gonna say Jason Mark. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sponsored by either of these companies. Bro, cats who's sponsored by Rejuvenator might hop out there and say Rejuvenator got the best product. If any one of y'all brands wanna add to my bias a little bit, feel free to send your boy a pack, man. <laughs> I love to have it. But forget all that, broski. Let's clean these kicks, man. And see which one putting in that work. See which one get the best bang for your book. Right before we get into the cleaning part, just so you'll know the price points on each. Four ounces for nine bucks on the Jason Mark, and you get 200 milliliters for how much? 12. And this is actually a refill, you know what I mean? To go with the little kits that you buy that come with the brush and all that. I'm actually going to use the Crep brush. I like the Crep brush. I don't even know what my Jason Mark brush is. Probably lost it. But I'm going to use the Crep brush. That really not going to make much of a difference. But yeah, 9 bucks, 4 ounces, 12 bucks, 200 milliliters. You do the math. Price points. You know what I mean? Now we're going to see which one actually worked the best. Let's clean these kicks too. Wow, so check it out, broski. We're going to start it off and clean the right shoes with the Crep. We're going to use Crep on these, you know what I mean? Set that right there. Set this on the floor with the left shoe so I can keep track. <laughs> Just so I don't forget. Right shoe, we're using Crip. Let's get to it, G. I'm not going to take out the laces because I ain't really tripping off the laces. These came with extra laces. So I'm going to do a lace swap whenever I'm ready to wear them again. We're just worried about the uppers and the outsoles. Seeing how good we can get that clean. And I like to wet my shoes before I clean them. But yeah, let's fix up our solution, man. A little bit of water. Got a little bit of water in the gun. Well, a lot of bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> See we get a good lap going. And that's it do it. Mix it up with the brush a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get straight to it, G. Thank you. 
quick something I forgot, bro. <laughs> when you cleaning your shoes, you might want to put a rag or something on the inside because water does come through the ventilation. And now, like, my little Hirachi part getting dirty. The whole little sock on the inside getting dirty. But to fix that, take the laces out. You know what I'm saying? Then clean that part. Net major, like I said, I was more concerned about the uppers and the outsole. Cleaned up the uppers. I oh, don't know, bro. <laughs> this crib looking like a bus. But, you know what I mean? It's hard to get that skateboarding dirt off, especially if you just letting it sit on there. And You know what I mean? This all come from grip taping grass, and I'm just letting it sit on the shoe. I haven't cleaned it once since I skated it. So it's definitely going to be harder to get these marks and scuff out. Kind of unfair, but shit, I don't know. Let's work this out so one time and see. So, and let's go outside, get some sunlight on it, and see the difference between this one and the shoe that's still dirty before I clean that one with the Jason Mark. Matter of fact, before I go outside, bro, I'm gonna clean the chicken shoe too. See how that work out. I mean, it look a little bit better, but really ain't no drastic difference, bro. <laughs> Bang, bang. Got Chicky. Left shoe done on her black cements. And it looked pretty good, bro. Right here, it looked pretty good. It didn't get, it didn't get the thread along the toe as clean as I would like for it to be, but the rest of the shoe definitely looked good. And it might look a little bit better after it dry, actually. So, yeah. Mm. Let's go outside and get some before and after. You know what I mean? Some clean versus dirty. With the Crip Premium Cleaner. <laughs> Ma. Ma, 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 we outside, bro. Checking out the results. From the Crip Cleaner. Hey, I can't even lie, they got chicken. Little black cement threes looking good. You can see this the dirty one right here. I mean, check out the midsole and the outsole on the dirty one. See if I can get it to stay up. They got a clean one. That back, little Nike tab on the back. See what that one looking like. Oh, dirty and ashy. Get the midsoles. So yeah, it definitely did a good job. With these black cements. They just need a little tender love and care. They went too bad. These Nigels was the beast though. These joints were super dirty. You can see. Did a pretty good job with the nizers. Look at the toe boxes. Outsoles. 
still pretty dirty. <laughs> Sitting on that grip type, I wasn't expecting a super duper big difference. But yeah, broski. Probably be a little better if I cleaned the mess and the laces. But y'all know what the focus was. Trying to see what was good with the uppers. All right, so let's clean up these left shoes with the Jason Mark. And we're going to come back and compare one more time and see what's what. Mob, y'all stay tuned, bro. So bang bang, we got the nozzles done. We can definitely take them both outside now. And I'ma let y'all tell me what y'all think did the better job. Just for one, what I will say is this shoe was not originally white, you know what I mean? It was a sale, sale like off whitish type of sneaker. But what I'm seeing, it was dope as hell, bro. Once you skate the shoe down, and you know what I mean? The more you skate it down, it got like a speckle, like some multicolored speckles up under it. And the more you skate it, the more you're gonna be able to see it, and that's dope as hell, so. You know what I mean? I'm definitely gonna skate these some more to try to reveal the hidden details that there, but with these noises, bro, yeah. You gotta skate them down to see what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's take them outside, man. <laughs> Mom. So yeah, broski, we got the shoes all clean now. 
and I can give y'all my opinions on what I think work the best. Jason Mark on this side, Crip on this side. Looking at the Nigers first. <laughs> It's still scuffs and marks there, but man, y'all know how relentless that grip tape is. You know what I'm saying? That grip tape on the shoe is no good. And being that the Nigers are still intact, I definitely recommend this shoe for a skate shoe. The only thing I will say, if you're gonna get it and you're a wide footer, go up a half size, cause it's tight as shit right here at the top of your foot. But as far as the rest of the shoe, it's definitely a go. And as you can see, the more you skate it, it reveals its multicolored speckling. That's dope as hell to me. You can't see that fresh out the box when the shoes are brand new. So the more you skate it, you know what I'm saying, the more you're going to get out of your shoe. But as far as what we're talking about today is like cleaning goes. You know what I mean? Don't look at the laces. Just look at the toe boxes. Let's check out the outsole. <laughs> Wanna make sure I got the right shoes on the right sides. But yeah, got the Crip on the left. Jason Mark on the right, man. And like I said, I like the smell of the Jason Mark more. And the Jason Mark lather up way better. But as far as actual cleaning goes, I mean, I'm leaning more towards the Jason Mark, but hey, man, it's really about how much elbow grease you put in the joints, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it did a good job. The Crip do a good job. The same, it's on par. It's not a drastic difference, but you know what I'm saying? I do feel like this one just may be a tad bit cleaner. I don't know. It's still scuffs and dirt remaining, you know what I mean? And that's probably never gonna go nowhere at this point because I ain't clean them fast enough, but yeah, with this pair, these white shoes, I'ma lean towards the Jason Mark. Definitely with the smell and the lather still, Jason Mark got it. Um, let y'all check out Chicky Beasy shoes. And this is not sale, this is just straight up white, so y'all can see the difference in between both now. What do y'all think is whiter in between the two? Or which one do y'all think is cleaner? Check out the mid soles right there. Uppers on the shoe look good. Both did a great job on the black parts, you know what I'm saying? The leathers and the elephant print. That's gonna be hard to fuck up anyway, you know what I'm saying? But did amazing job on the black part and the leathers on both. But what we're gonna be able to tell the biggest difference would probably be the outsole and yeah, Crep on this side, Jason Mark on this side and again, bro, it's just, to me, I think the Jason Mark got a slight edge, man. I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken, but I don't know. At this point, y'all drop y'all opinions. Y'all let me know, broski. What y'all gonna go with, the Jason Mark or the Crip? If y'all like this video, we can do it again, man. I can get some rejuvenator and like some regular Foot Locker cleaning and compare them to. See if it's a difference. See if you need to go out your way to get rejuvenator or can you just stick with the regular store brand cleaner? You know what I mean? We can compare that next if y'all like this video, but just let me know, man. We're gonna get up out of here for my family yours, broski. Mob, mob, mob. Y'all stay up, broski. Peace.